Hey folks, welcome back. So I know I haven't gotten too heavy on tech stuff, but I figure while I'm grinding for proficiencies, I might as well teach you a tech um, that I think will be absolutely instrumental in everyone's gameplay if they want to take things faster. So you guys may know, for example, that it takes a while for you to sheath your weapon, right? And then to do quick draw, and then you can, it just, there's that whole awkward sheathing animation, right? And I know Sword actually has an ability that we're gonna get to eventually, which immediately puts you in EI stance when Key Pulse succeeds. Now this is awesome, but not every weapon has this. And even with this, you may not be able to pull that off given certain circumstances. So I'm gonna teach you the sheath cancel, which is phenomenal. So we've already kind of demoed this with say using certain items. So for example, uh, See if I, I don't remember if a burst counter will work. So certain burst counters, I think, in the burst counter guide, kind of sheath your weapon automatically. I don't remember which ones. I think brute always sheaths. I think phantom doesn't, no matter what. Um, let me just double check real fast. So let me just sheath my weapon. I think you automatically take it out. Yeah. Whereas I think feral, it depends if you're sheathed before you'll sheath. You'll stay sheathed. Um, I, again, just check the burst counter guide for that. But we know for sure that say using a yokai ability all right sorry i just use an item um but using say a yokai ability will sheath will put your weapon away you know as i demonstrated with the gaki and then of course say using a shot or using most items in general allow you to stay sheathed but let's say you don't want to depend upon that what can you actually do that doesn't require you to spend something. So, there. here's one of the more popular methods, for example. All right, so notice I have my weapon out. Now what you can do, many players like to do the aim cancel. It's pretty straightforward. I don't like doing it because it's wonky, but all you gotta do is just aim your weapon and your weapon is sheathed, all right? Many players like doing that. As you can see, it's it's a pretty easy input, but just due to the nature of zooming in, I don't like to use it. Uh, the one that I like to use that doesn't involve as many wonky things is as follows. So what you can do to truncate the sheath animation at will is this. You can start sheathing and then move right away. See, look how instant that was. Eventually you'll kind of get a knack for how quickly you can do it, but you just start sheathing and then move. And so you can rapidly unsheathe your weapon as well, but again, we're trying to cancel the sheathing animation, so start sheathing and move. And what I realistically do is like, let's say I'm in combat or whatever, and after say I dodge key pulse, then I, sh I like, I like, um, I will just double dodge and sheath at the same time, just to Almost like I'm walking up, all right? So it's like I dodge, and then I, like I move the right stick enough, or sorry, the left stick enough. God dang it, Aquaman, move out of my way. <laughs> but yeah, you start sheathing and you move, and then you basically cancel it. Um, another way you can do it that's a little wonkier involves swapping your weapons, and then like swapping right back. But, um, that's a little bit superfluous for what I'm going to be doing, especially since we're not even using a second weapon. So for sheath canceling in general, you've got four different ways. Yokai ability, some burst attacks, sorry, burst counters. Most yokai abilities, excluding like the Oni B, you can aim as well, but my preferred one is sheathing and then moving. So imagine layering that on top of all the other crap we're learning. So the complexity is only gonna get greater from here. So um, I'm actually not gonna go this way. We're gonna start putting the sheath cancel tech into practice against the yokai enemies that are in the dark realm. And first thing is, actually, I wanna, can I lock onto this gaki and shoot it? Drop down, you jerk. All right, it's dead. We're gonna go into the dark realm and let's apply this alongside everything else we know. So with the end key, break its horn. Sheath tech. All right, boosh, 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 boosh. Yep. Morning moon is dead. Again, I'm sheathed already. It flux to whenever I can. Sweet, I get an Enki soul core. Um, let's just 
see if I picked up anything better. I did pick up a better gun, I think. So, all right, let's just double check. I think it's a better gun. Jeez, that's a strong one. Okay, I got pretty good guns, so we're good. Looks like I got another point. So even though I can't get this right away, I can get other abilities. So I'm gonna get kick, and then I'm going to reassign this into mid stance. That's just my preference. And then yeah, so we're adding, we're definitely starting to pad in a bunch of different things. I don't even think I've messed with Leaf Glide yet. Um, but yeah, we're padding up all the skills, so it's gonna get really complicated alongside with this sheath cancel tech. And of course, it's gonna take a lot of practice. And there are many easy ways that you can do this. Obviously, pick whichever one appeals to you the most and go from there. But yeah. Oh, there's that jerk. Right, let's shoot it with a new gun. That's got a lot of damage. Okay. Let's continue over here. Remember, after I'm aimed with my weapon, I am sheathed. Whoa! Oh, shoot! Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, take a feathers. Thank you. Alright, that's a Tengu. Aberrant Soldier Soul Core. Let's check what's in here. Of course. Look at that, look at that sneaky little Gaki. God dang it, Aquaman. You're ruining my vibe. Ah! Aquaman! Yeah, you deserve to get paralyzed, you jerk. Alright, let's go. Alright, so Raven Tengu. Use the Yokai ability. Knock it up. I'm already sheathed. Alright. Oh, you sneaky little bird. Fine, I'm gonna shoot you then. I'm just gonna shoot you. Come on, shoot me, jerk. Here, take another one. God dang it. Here, present. Fine, burst attack, please. Yeah, because I didn't freaking know that was going to happen. Jerk. Don't take my kill. Dark Realm Dispeller. I get another Raven Tengu core. That is great. All right, treasure chest over here. Ooh, and there's even a Kodama back there. And there's more treasure. All right, so let's just keep exploring. But yeah, you don't always have to do the sheath cancel. In fact, you don't have to do much of this anyway. It's all just extra options to make gameplay feel faster and more fluid than you thought was possible. Um, I'm actually not used to using the sheath cancel in, in this scenario because I have no real need. <laughs> it's just the honest truth. All right, um, so there's, ooh, there's Amrtha over there, which means I can get over there. So let's get over there. I really want to get rid of Aquaman so I can actually play the darn level. Alright, ooh, Yamanba yet again. Alright, whatever, let's go, lady. Oh, look at that. Just no problem whatsoever. God, I'm out of key already. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh, there's the Aberrant. Boom, headshot. All right. Guess we'll drop down here. Where's the treasure chest? That is death, so I will not go there. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. I guess there's more level to explore when I close the floodgate. All right, we've got Yokai Realm here, and I already have the shortcut, so I guess let's just go. Benenki. Here, Aquaman, do your thing. I want to practice item cancel. Look at that. Isn't that busted? <laughs> it's so much easier with uh, double jutsu cancel. <laughs> Using kick. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. Because <laughs> it's just... It's, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nutty. I did three elements. I did fire, water, and then poison. <laughs> like, okay, dude. <laughs> game's, game's totally fair and balanced that way.
And believe it or not, Team Ninja is not... They, they're not nerfing it. If they wanted it nerfed, they would have nerfed it by now. So it's gonna stay. And even if they get rid of the key pulse and how it cancels animations, well, you can always use the Yokai ability, so you always have at least a single item just to cancel. What? Look at this lazy piece of crap. He's in the hot spring. Stay, yeah, just, just. He's just, he's, he's literally gonna stay here for the rest of the level. Thanks for your so-called help, jerk. We really know each other, really? Cause I just sat here. I just had, had just the, fa oh my God. Okay, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. You, we've gone our separate ways. That's what I care about. Stay there and don't come back. All right, we got another dark realm. Looks like, as you can see, we got another floodgate. So we're going to close that. But yeah, it's going to be a little tricky to navigate. And let's see if this person died too. Died to a Gaki, of course. Look at that, I'm already sheathed, and boom. Nice try, jerk. Now, Gakis are pretty easy to kill, as you can tell, but don't underestimate how much they can delete you. Okay, so I want to get to that floodgate. Looks like there's two ways. I can either go that way, which basically looks like it's leading Jeepler into level courtesy of the compass. There's a Kodama at my roughly one or two o'clock, but I'm going to take you through this dark realm, and I'm going to kill this Gaki. That freaking deserves to die. Okay, we got an Enki. Let's see what else we got. We got a Soul Core. Okay, there's an enemy. All right, what we got? Oh, I tracked the attention of somebody else. Not really sure who, so I'm just gonna back away. All right, let's just pull this Nuriona. One. All right, let's go in. Ooh. Quite a powerful core. Gotta use it right, and you're in good shape. The heck? Jerk. Oh, it's still dead. Also, generally soul cores drop more often in the Dark Realm, just because it's a Dark Realm type thing. So if you want to farm for soul cores, do so in the Dark Realm. Alright, let's do item cancel crap. Knock them out wherever you are! Yeah, welcome to item cancel. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, ooh, what the heck's that? You guys, remember the umbrella from Neo 1? Yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. But yeah, just, this is a yokai you can just relentlessly attack. God dang it. You see how important yokai ability key pulse is, especially when you don't have much key? Like, I'm running out of key because I don't have it. It's so valuable. Okay, um, let's see. There's a tree branch over there. Is there anything down here? Well, that's the Yankee is very clearly the Yokai Realm. I'm sorry, the Dark Realm boss. Let's see if I can just find a more advantageous way to go. All right, looks like we've got this. I can drop down. Oh, I guess I can sneak attack it. Let's let's be cheap with item cancel. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, remember I'm sheathed, right? Alright, let's back off. I did a good chunk of damage, though. Alright, let's see what it's gonna do. Perfect time to item cancel. I right, screwed that up. Oh well. Let's just let it die to damage over time. See how little risk that is? So, yeah. Certain abilities make item canceling a lot easier. I'm still not perfect with it. I don't do it that much, but yeah, it's, um, it's a very powerful tool. Oh, I got more ninja locks. So what do I want to spend it on? Oh, uh, honestly, feathers are ridiculous. Oh yeah, I remember I wanted that capacity. So I can go for that capacity again, but it looks like I have to unlock the next dojo mission. So that's going to be some time. But what else can I get? Uh, levitation scrolls are really handy, so you can avoid many terrain-based effects. It's really, really good. I'd recommend it if you're worried about any pools of any sort. Very awesome. Uh, what else? Eagle Eye, of course, is nice for arrows, but I hardly use them. Catwalking scrolls are nice. I suppose I can level up tiger running scrolls, but I don't really even use them. Ground fire is pretty fun. Explode a human enemy, send it flying back. Uh, shrapnel bombs. Honestly, the feathers are hilarious. 
Maybe I can just start making my way towards this anyway. So I'll just get shuriken and just go from there. I can always reassign if I'm not satisfied. Looks like I also got a hand cannon, so why wouldn't I just use the hand cannon? 240 damage. Um, they're less mobile. You can use them and they're hilarious, but I won't worry about it too much. But okay. And look at that. We got the floodgate cleared. And what's nice about this one is that there's actually a shrine we can take right away. So let's take the shrine and let's just keep going and keep clearing stuff. So you can see, like, putting all this tech together is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I want to see, though, if I have any yokai ability key pulse cores. That's really important to me. I'll actually... Yes! Awesome! Aberrant Soldier Soul Core with the yokai ability key pulse. I will absolutely be using this. So, yeah, let's change up our cores. I'm actually going to debut the Scampus core now. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to hold on to this Aberrant Soldier Soul Core, and I'll use it to showcase some pretty fancy, speedy things you can do with Soul Cores in general, and why I like Aberrant Soldier. There's a lot of, like, deceptive things that you may not be aware of when it comes to very many of these Soul Cores. So it's something you do not want to underestimate, but I'll touch on it probably in the next lesson. So now I'm going to level stuff up, and again, I already have taken care of the core things I want to deal with, so now I just need to decide where I want to put my points. Now I really, really want to stress the importance of leveling up your Jitsu, so I'm actually going to get more capacity for magic, even though I may be gated from other things. Of course, if you want to go for even in all stats like I do and my characters go for it, um, that's totally fine. But yeah, let's just get more stuff. It looks like I actually did get two Shifling points, that's actually pretty huge. And let's spend them exactly where I want them to go, which is without a doubt right here. Special Finesse Refresh. Look at that. 80% of my key when I successfully perform a burst counter. This is so crazy. Anytime I do a burst counter, I get 80% of my key back. And I get a key recovery buff. So good. And then we're going to add later things onto it. Where your next yokai ability does extra damage and then if you're low on health use it to refill your hp it is so good um, i'm gonna leave these alone I, I like the idea of getting more damage but in all honesty the utility from just being able to manage my key is so big but for the time being i'm gonna start leveling these things up because i'm feeling the key recovery penalties a lot so i'm gonna get each of these so key recovery speed, Yokai Realm, I'll max these out next. And then I'll start boosting these. So we can have overall really good resource management. I cannot stress how important that is. And with things like Yokai Ability Key Pulse, it will just get even easier to work with. Nice, I get more purity shots, and that is awesome. So this is gonna really start setting the stage. For other things what i'm going to do now is just complete this circuit of this portion of the level and then we're going to keep going okay why do i sense amrita is it because of a soul core oh it is aberrant soldier amrita sensor that's really nice let me see if i got any other better weapons it doesn't look like it i'm not going to worry about it so just go from here what do we got oh look we got this umibozu so let's just use lightning and oh so i can always cancel that animation it's always nice all right let's go so we're just going to keep clearing this little area this little circuit and oh wait why do i have enemy sense wait i, don't, I shouldn't have any wait how how the heck's giving me any sensor i'm confused don't understand or maybe it's just a special thing but yeah you see that red dot uh, that's gonna be a kappa all right let's just jock it where are you going where are you going you ain't going anywhere all right well we got all that got even more points you know, I would also really like to get capacity. I forget where capacity is. Holy cow, that's so far away. Capacity would be great, but I'm not getting it anytime soon. Maybe I'll invest in other shots, to be honest. So let's get, get fire shots, I guess. 
Yeah, I'll get fire shots, and then I'll get water shots, and yada yada yada. Alright, let's just keep it going. Aquaman's still up there. Screw you, Aquaman. I don't care. Alright, what'd you die to? Ah, Tengu. Okay. Clear this. Shock it. Fine. And that. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Shock it. And it's dead. Okay. That's a nice name. Oh, treasure chest. Oh, and it's a mimic. So, I'm gonna use this opportunity to also just use the shots on the mimic. I'm just, I don't care. Hey, it's gonna get all of them. All of them. I'm a D-pad warrior. Use feathers. Use all the feathers. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> that was so cheap. Look at that. Welcome to Jutsu and why it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> It's freaking comical. What's my proficiency at? It's pretty good. 34k. Yeah, I forget. I think you want to get to like 25k or something or 30k. I don't really remember. Oh, look. It's an Omibozu. Here, have fire. <laughs> All right. I'm with the sensor. Looks like there's more if I climb up above. But yeah, I don't want to run out the length of this too much. But yeah, we're, we're adding more things in, and in the next lesson, I'm going to showcase what you can do in terms of speedy yokai ability play. So let's just see what I got. Um, I don't think I got anything I care for. Yeah, I just got another Mujin Accord, and you know, that's cool and all. But yeah, so I'm going to stop here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys. Wait, got a wave. Got a wave. Oh wait, uh, one other thing. Look, you can also do emote cancel for sheath cancel, all right? So if you wanna be extra, let's do emote into sheath. Oh, emote cancel. Actually, let's take it even more disrespect. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.